As we enter the final week of Black History Month, it's important to remember history is being made every day. Case in point, the woman you are about to meet made Milwaukee history in the final month of 2020. Ted Perry joins us here in the studio with her story tonight. Ted. Mary, thank you. Sharon Purifoy went to college to become a social worker. She wanted to change the world, and she has, but in a way she never really imagined. She has literally climbed a lot of ladders and inspired a whole lot of other people with every step. After 18 years of making Milwaukee fire stations her second home, Sharon Purifoy is used to the sound doing what it does and about to do even more. of someone in need. You still get that adrenaline rush. And the controlled fury that follows. But what she's still having a hard time adapting to is the fire engines leaving the station without her. Sometimes I feel I want to get there and see what's going on. Such is the trade-off that comes with an historic promotion. Deputy Chief of EMS, Sharon Purifoy. In December, she became Deputy Chief Purifoy, the first black woman in the history of the Milwaukee Fire Department to earn that rank. Is your promotion long overdue? I would definitely say the promotion is long overdue because I know that there are people bef or women before me that could have held this position. That she would be the first to make it this high up the hierarchy is interesting. I became a, like I said, a firefighter by default. Because this was hardly a lifelong dream for the Milwaukee native who, as a child, saw herself in a totally different field of work. I was going to be a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader. <laughs> she ended up wearing a different kind of boot. I am not that traditional firefighter. Uh, firefighters' traditions and culture didn't mean that much to me. And I have to say that because I feel that tradition and culture is what held the fire department back. Purifoy credits a 2002 EEOC complaint by the Milwaukee Brotherhood of Firefighters for opening the door. Regardless of how it opened, she was determined to stay although there was that one brutal day at the training academy. Well, I was just beat that day. When she came oh so close to quitting, her deputy chief wouldn't allow it. Each one of your officers came in here and spoke on your behalf, so they want you here. Now get back out there. I had people believing in me back then when I didn't even believe in myself. Confidence never became a problem again. She became a lieutenant, a captain, then battalion chief, and now deputy chief in charge of EMS. An impressive career arc that in a different time would have been unlikely. But even coming up through the ranks, there were still times where, you know, little things would happen where you would think, wow, we're still doing this. The occasional jabs, though, didn't distract Purifoy from the bigger picture. She's always felt her success would lead the way for others who may not have known that this career was even an option. I still get excited when I would get off a of fire engine or have my uniform on and little girls would still run up to me and say, wow, I've never seen a, a black lady firefighter before. So it feels good. While Cruz battled the house fire, leaving the station empty. My locker was over here somewhere. The deputy chief showed us around. This is where she got her start. And the table where she first learned her hard work was finally being noticed. I'm not a card player, but they were trying to teach me how to play poker. She didn't take any of their money, but she did learn she was winning their respect, something her commanding officer admitted one night he didn't think she ever would. Because you were black and you were a female and you were part of that EEOC complaint, so I thought you were going to be trouble. And um, from that point on, just by him being open, I could tell that maybe the tables were turning. She's reached the age where she could turn in her bunker gear and was planning to do just that when her significant other, also a deputy chief, <laughs> convinced her to break through one more glass ceiling. Chief Smooth said, you know what, Sharon, you're here. Um, he said, it's not all about you. People need to see you continue as long as you can. Making sure others know they can follow in her path is the chief reason she's sticking around. And when I asked her who was most proud of this historic promotion, she first said her parents, and then she stopped and she said, no, 
my significant other, Deputy Chief Smoots, and then said, no, 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 and gave her final answer, her niece, Maddie, who she's raising after her sister passed away of cancer. She seemed most pleased that her teenage niece looked up to her. And it's also fitting as it's the next generation that she's hoping to inspire. Ben? 13 years just to get a foot in the door. Look at the difference she's making. Absolutely. Dad, thanks.